So I can see the comments coming in already. They're just starting to pour in. This is the best concealed carry guns. 2021 edition and i am excited to bring it to you my name is Hagshot. thank you for joining us and let's uh we're gonna get into this man it's 2021 we have some new options now and i think these options have changed our list entirely and here's what happens my opinion change my opinions do change they change over time on certain things and also we get new options and when those new options it seems like they are going to be a reliable option and I like them, Miss Techshot likes them. We update the list. So, 2021 edition. I got three links down below I want you to check out though. It takes two seconds. Pause the video right now if you want to. One is to my brand new channel, which involves music and it also involves video gaming. If you've been with us for a long time, you know I've always wanted to start a video gaming channel. Now I've done it, I'm sticking with it. I don't care, I've invested too much into it. So it's mainly live streaming, but I'm also gonna have some uh, some like best clip moments and things like that. So I'm live streaming on Facebook, live if you're there, Twitch if you're there, here obviously on YouTube, uh, link down below to that. And also music, which is coming very soon. I've invested a ton of time, money, resources into this and I want to do it and I'm excited to do it and I hope that you will join me. Let's call that channel Hegshot Unplugged, all right? Let's just call it Hegshot Unplugged, if you know where I'm getting at. It's, it's, it's me in another form, okay? In another form. So I'll just leave it at that. Please check it out down below. Mrs. Hegshot started a channel as well, and I would invite you to, to, to please subscribe to that one too. It's awesome. She's done a great job so far. And what else? The USCCA, of course, if you are a concealed carrier in the United States, Please make sure that you uh, use that link down below. Check out the resources they have for you as a member and all that good stuff. They can help you along your concealed carry journey. So, speaking of concealed carry, let's go ahead and get into it. I know we're going to get some comments on this one, and I'm excited. Bring it on. Let's go. Number five on the list, to me, still one of the best. I had to put this one on there. This is the Walther PPSM2. My goodness, what an awesome gun this is. The capacity for today in today's market is super low. It's six rounds with a with a base magazine. It's a little bit heavy, a little bit top heavy, but it's one of the best shooting smaller guns on the market still today. It's got a nice set of sights on it. It's got a great grip texture, and it's just one of our personal favorites. Plus, if you want a budget option, uh, this might be a good one for you as well. I know nothing is really budget right now, but it's still a definitely a very nice option for the budget side of things. All right, so let's go to number four here, and I'm gonna put the P365 XL, the 12 round version that's optic ready with the Romeo Zero. To me, this is still, it's hard to beat, man. It's got the flat face trigger on it, front and rear slide serrations, amazing grip texturing, great feel in the hand, man. If you want one of the better feeling, smaller guns in the hand, it is hard to beat the P365 XL. It feels like a bigger gun, but it carries like a small one. And if you're gonna be carrying, use a good holster, good gun belt. I have links down to those as well. Um, but this is a great option, man. I love the P365 XL. It's excellent. Uh, what else? So this one may be a little bit debate between me and Miss Techshot. I put the Ruger Max 9 at number three. This one has been impressive, man. Great trigger, a decent trigger. Um, two magazines, you have a 10 and a 12 round option there. It comes optic ready. So that is a really, really good thing there. Fiber optic sights that do co-witness. You have a bunch of, uh, optic options. You can run straight from the factory co-witness. It's, it's like an LC9S, but it has way more capacity now. And I think they did a fantastic job with the Ruger Max 9. So that is our spot for number three there. <clears throat> Number two was, was hard for me, man. This was a harder one, but I think what I'm gonna put there is the Shield Plus. Uh, Smith & Wesson with the original Shield, it was always in my top five, and the Shield Plus is no different, man. It's just the, the trigger is better, the capacity is obviously better, the grip texturing is, is more subdued than the M2.0, which is a good thing, and it just shoots like a bigger gun but yet you have a really concealable gun in this. I'm really excited about the Shield Plus. Keep in mind, there is a four inch barrel version that comes optic ready if that's something that you um, 
want to opt for if that's if that's your choice there. So I do like that Ruger put their they they made their gun optic ready straight from the factory, but to me the trigger on this one isn't as good. Although I shot it as good as the shield. So it's just one of those things. I just prefer the Shield Plus. If it was Mrs. Tech Shot's list, she would probably put this as number one. She really enjoys this gun. Uh, if you know for for what that's worth, it's it's really a good one. Before we get to number one, I'm gonna go with the Glock 26 as our wild card because still in today's market, this is an impressive, impressive concealed carry gun. Ten round mag. It's a thick, chunky piece of metal and plastic, man. But dang, is this thing still to this day, super impressive. And if I was in, let's say I'm Hegshot 87 in 1999 or 2000 or whatever, uh, mid 2000s even, I'm carrying a Glock 26 because uh, compared to what was out, this was the latest and greatest and it's still an awesome option. They still make this gun too, by the way, to this day. Number one, man, number one is the P365. I still think when it comes to a balance of uh, size, weight, capacity, obviously, and shootability, the P365, the sights, I love them. The trigger, I don't like it as much as the P365, but this is a much more comfortable option. When I carry this, it's dang near close to like a Glock 42. I mean, it's really that small. And you got to think with all these guns now, if I didn't redo this list, I'd be doing a huge disservice to you guys. Because if you're just now getting into this, you may be looking at my old videos thinking, man, the, the M&P Shield or the LC9S Pro or those kind of guns, man, that's the best option for me. But when you have a gun like this, that's sometimes smaller than those older options with more rounds, got to update it. And the P365 still, I think, is on top in the concealed carry world. Now, you may be thinking, dude, where's the freaking Hellcat at? <laughs> Me and Miss Techshot, we we both agree on this, that it's just not for me, man. I, I, I was gonna do a four gun comparison between the Hellcat, the P365, the Shield Plus, and the Ruger Max 9. And, and we may still do it, but just know that the Hellcat is just not my cup of tea. I think it's a snappier gun. It doesn't shoot nearly as well as the Max 9, the, the Shield Plus, or the P365 for that matter. Definitely doesn't shoot as good as the XL. And it doesn't compare to the Walther PPS as far as the way it shoots. It's just not for us. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Not a fan at all of the Springfield Armory Hellcat. So there you go. There's my list. I want to hear what your favorites are in 2021 down below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold them down.